Go ahead and put in your number and then select Next. And it takes a look at your system, sees that you have an internet connection, and asks if you'd like to go out and download any updated files. This is a great new feature, especially if you're doing installations on a onesie or twosie basis, because this will download any service packs or security updates. You can skip the step if you want, but again, I'm going to go ahead and do this to be sure that I've got the latest and greatest files while I'm installing Windows XP. Once it's downloaded any updates that are necessary, it'll take a look at your system and see if there's any compatibility problems or possible compatibility problems. A lot of times the information that you'll find about your particular system is just referring to old drivers. In my particular case, it pulls up a very common one, which is a printer driver. In any case, I would definitely recommend taking a look at the details for the compatibility report and seeing what it tells you. Most of the time, it's going to tell you to uninstall the driver before the upgrade. That is not always necessary, but it's definitely something I would recommend doing if you've got the time and if it's something that you're going to worry about. Now, in my case, I'm going to go out and look for the latest driver after Windows XP is installed and upgraded anyway, so I'm not going to worry about this one at this point in time. I'll choose Next, and it begins copying over the information for the upgrade itself. 